Belichick in the hot seat. Yeah. Real or fabricated? I, I don't I don't think he'll get fired. Um it's just like I think Robert Kraft would pursue something different than that if he were trying to push him out. Now I don't know if Bill could force him to fire him. Um I think they need to show progress though, for there not to be some level of shakeup. And you know, I, I think like you're starting to see a, like a level of discomfort with the crafts on where they are and some of the statements that Robert Kraft has made over the last couple of years. Um, and, and, and look, like, I think if you look at where they are now versus 2019, it's hard to say they're not on an upward trajectory. And then if you look, it's like, how many players in the roster can you say are going to be there three years from now? Right. Like where this guy is a good enough player where I know he's going to be there in three years, yeah. like say Garrett Wilson or sauce Gardner are for the jets. Right. Like that guy's going to be there. So I think as much as winning and losing this year is going to be about showing that but you're they on have to be trajectory. bad to get better from the standpoint of getting draft. The jets were bad and got those draft they, picks. The Patriots are average. They struck out on a lot of draft picks too, though. And that's the thing is, and I, I understand what you're saying is like, are they stuck in that? Like, you know, you're the 45 win NBA team, like that thing, right? Like where, you know, you're, you're good enough to be competitive, but not good enough to get over the top. Um, you know, but I, I think that that's like a big part of it is finding creative ways to show you're on an, on an upward trajectory. Right. And like, I, I think if you look at the roster, there are some good young players on that, but, Kyle Duggar, Josh Uche, like are these guys, Michael Wino, like are these guys that you're going to be that are going to be cornerstones for you for the next decade? You know, like I, I I don't know. And then there's the quarterback question. So like I think I think the Crafts are concerned about the direction of the franchise, especially after what they went through last year on the coaching staff, right? And I think like Bill needs to show that they are back on the way up again because this is the fourth year without Brady, right? So we've gone through like almost a, like like a whole cycle of rookies and all of that, like since Brady has been gone. So they need to show like like Bill needs to show we're on an upward trajectory to prevent there being some level of change for the second straight year in the organization. And I think where you could see this, right, like the way I see it, like barring like a bottoming out where they're four and 13 or something. What if Robert Kraft wants to hire a GM? What if Robert Kraft wants changes on the coaching staff? He did this year. Mm-hmm. Or if he wants to do that again, is that the type of thing where it makes Belichick throw his hands up and say the hell with this? I'm I'm out, you know, like, so. But they're not helping Mac Jones that if you look at I, what the Dolphins yeah. did with Tua, the Eagles did with Jalen Hurts, Mac Jones, I don't know if he's a good quarterback or not, but if I put him in Miami or put him in Philadelphia, I right guess he's going to be a whole lot better than he is in New England. And you're you're at least going to have clarity, right? Like, and that's the question. Uh, and I think like the problem, the big, the fundamental problem here, Dan, is they're building like it's still ten years ago. They're building like they still have Tom Brady. And if you look at their roster, there are a whole bunch of good players. But how many great players do they have? And the way the league is going, you see teams that are built around great players and making it work everywhere else, right? Like the best teams now have great players at premium positions and make it work everywhere else. The Patriots aren't like that. The Patriots are trying to build on balance again, which when you have Tom Brady, that works because he can lift all boats, right? Look at the offseason two years ago, right? So they went in to brought, brought these guys. And Matthew Judon on defense really worked. But on offense, they brought in – Nelson Aguilar and Kendrick Bourne at receiver, and they brought in Hunter Henry and Johnny Smith at tight end. Meanwhile, other teams, instead of going for three or four guys, were making the splash. Like you said, A.J. Brown to Philly, Devontae Adams to Vegas, Tyree, Tyree Kill to Miami. And I think what we've seen is, like, it really helps your young quarterback more than anything else to get the guy who changes the dynamic for everybody, yeah. right? And, um, you know, like... T- Patrick Mahomes had that in, in Tyreek Hill when he was young. Now Tua Tungavaloa is getting it with Hill and Waddle. Like you said, Jalen Hurts has gotten it with A.J. Brown. In Buffalo, Stephon Diggs was traded for three years into Josh Allen's career. You're going to have some big decisions to make on Mac Jones um, after this year on the fifth-year option, whether to extend him, all of that, whether to go after another quarterback after this year. And I think my biggest question would be, 
whether or not they've done enough to give themselves clarity on that. Like, like you said, are you going to be able to get yourself closer to a clear answer on whether he's the guy or not based on what you've put around him? And the idea that that might not happen as a result of the way they built the team. Yeah, I think what we're finding out is players will go to New England if they can win a Super Bowl and you have Tom Brady. Players aren't looking to go to New England just to say, I played for Bill Belichick. 